Good morning, folks. Good morning to you all. Another morning here in Columbus, Ohio. It is nine o'clock. And for today's video, this was going to be a question of the week. And this will be question of the week number 64. Yes, indeed. Question of the week number 64. It's been, it seems, I think it's been close to a year since I made uh, the last level, um, I'm about to say level of video, the last question of the week uh, video. So, um, we're back here on it. So here's, this is, will be, this will be the continuation of this series. And, um, I am a bit behind on a lot of these questions. I, I've gotten a lot of questions, you know, over the past six, seven months, you know, I, basically since I stopped, stopped making these videos. So, um, I decided to just go with my recent question <clears throat> that I've gotten over on Facebook. So, I'm going to read Brian Solomon's question and then make a follow up video and uh, give my response. So, Brian asks <clears throat> Do you ever find yourself wasting too much time on the internet or Facebook and think how that time over a few months could have helped you make bigger gains in your language studies? I'm a Facebook addict. Sometimes, and about once a year, I take a month or two off and temporarily deactivate my account. I'm getting ready to deactivate in, in a few days. I'm hoping I'll channel my extra time into my Spanish and start another language. Do you think social media, internet helps you in your studies or sometimes is a distraction? So a great question by Brian. Um, I think a lot of people would ask the same question because social media is serious and there's a lot of distractions and definitely can pull you away from your study so I'm gonna um, transition over into this video and uh, you know let's uh, do a little rambling talk more about it I right, see you in a bit alrighty folks here we go so the question posed by Brian very good question and I believe a lot of people have this problem so with social media uh, platforms such as YouTube Facebook, <clears throat> Twitter, and all these other social media platforms. Um, I, I don't think they're bad. In fact, I think they are very good um, for certain things. You can definitely use them uh, to your full benefit, especially if you're running a business. I mean, I, I think they could be used for some great things. However, um, they can be huge distractions, uh, especially if you're, um, if you're a student or if you're studying languages. <clears throat> They can be a huge distraction if you don't use them correctly. So he asked me if I feel that um, I will waste a lot of time using those social platforms. I use all of them. Um, I use, obviously, I use YouTube. I use uh, Facebook and Twitter. <clears throat> I don't really use Twitter all like that. It's connected to um, my YouTube account automatically. But I, I, really, I, I rarely post anything manually there. But it's connected to my account, <clears throat> my YouTube account. Um, I um, see the, the thing about me, I'm very disciplined. OK, especially when it comes to learning a language, when I know that I need to put my time in a study, I put my time in. I don't joke around. Um, just like everyone else, I need a break sometimes. So, you know, I'll take a break and, you know, I'll go to Facebook, chill out, you know, chat with some friends, you know friends or family everyone does that but I know I know when to put it down when it's time to study I don't spend hours and hours on Facebook you guys see me may see me sign on Facebook um, <clears throat> every day I am there every day I'm running a business I share my videos uh, from YouTube on Facebook very often and I keep in contact with friends and family um, but <clears throat> I'm also getting my language studies in. I'm, I'm on point with my language studies. Like I said, I know when to uh, put down Facebook and YouTube um, and spend more time studying. Now, <clears throat> I think uh, YouTube, certain YouTube videos, if you find YouTube videos that are very productive and um, informative, you know, especially when it deals with language learning, I mean, if you're learning something from the video and it's contributing to your um, knowledge and the, the things that you're learning, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with spending two hours or something like that watching videos. 
But like <clears throat> for me watching something like, I don't know, something that isn't related to my studies, you know, and I'm talking about doing this every day. I think that's when it starts to become a waste of time, um, especially when I'm not getting my language study. OK, I'm like, you know, I got some languages I'm studying and I'm not even paying attention to those languages. I'm not putting the time in that I need to put in for them. And I'm just spending all this time. I'm just spending all this time on the Internet, just watching random videos without studying that that becomes a waste of time. OK, now, yeah, if that's what you like to do. Yeah, that I mean, that's fine. But I'm just saying for someone who's studying and they make these they complain and say, oh, you know, I'm not making much progress. This language is difficult. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm doing this right. I'm talking about those type of people, those people who know they, they complain, but they're not putting the time in, you know, for their studies. And that's when it's a waste of time. So you just got to know when to put it down. <clears throat> I don't I, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to sit up here and say that, um, you know, just flat out say it's a waste of time. But if it, it, it depends, it depends if you're studying languages and you have goals and you're not focusing on those goals and you're just spending all this time on Facebook, you know, just I mean, you know, spending hours and hours on Facebook and not paying any attention to those languages, then that's when it becomes a waste of time, because that time could have been spent on, on, on uh, studying those languages. Um, I know, I, well, I don't know, I, I see people on Facebook, <clears throat> you know, I check my feed and, you know, every day I check my feed, messages and all that. And I see people and I see same people on Facebook spending all this time. <clears throat> I go back every time I go back, I see this person, you know, these people and they make these posts, long posts, and they're not really about anything. It's just maybe rambling or just, you know, complaining or. Um, I don't know, just something that's not really related to their own studies. And I, I, I asked myself, like, man, how I, how are these people able to study a language spending all this time on Facebook? Like, I don't see how that's possible. I mean, I'm talking about spending hours and hours. I couldn't do that. I go on Facebook. I make a couple posts language related. You know, I post some things with my family and that's about it. I, I do that. And. Sometimes, you know, I'm on Facebook, but I don't post anything. There's been weeks. I went weeks without posting anything on Facebook because I'm busy. You know, I know when to put it down. I don't really like to spend too much time on social media platforms, especially now that I got a family. My time is very valuable and it's technical. I have to I have to um, I have to basically create a schedule of the things that I do on a daily basis. <clears throat> so I really don't have time to spend on Facebook, you know, I'm talking about like time, not really doing anything like um, what well, unproductive time. OK, and like I said, everyone needs a break here and there. You know, that's fine. But when you got things that you need to do, you know, responsibilities, then that's when they're, that's when it becomes a problem. So, yeah, YouTube, Facebook, they're good platforms if you're if they're used um, <clears throat> productively. So those are my thoughts on it. Um, I hope I didn't miss out anything. What else did he ask? Yeah. And Oh, the last question are, could, could they be beneficial? Yeah. Like I said before, if you're studying a language, for example, um, <clears throat> I'm going to use, Oh, okay. Let me see. I'm going to use an example here. Okay. My level up videos. All right. Let me see. Oh, but hold on. I got to check and see if my camera, I accidentally moved my camera to make sure it's still, it's still balanced here. Uh, okay. It looks, still looks good. still looks good. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about uh, videos that I make normally. And I'm just using this as an example, like the level up videos. Okay. <clears throat> Those level up videos are very long. You know, the um, the longest video I made was two hours. And yeah, that's a lot of time. You know, some people say, oh, two hours. You know, how can you sit up and watch a, a video for two hours? But that type of video for me as a language learner, I will sit there and watch the two hour. I may not be able to watch it. 
I may not be able to watch the full two hours in one day, in one setting, but I will watch that video, you know. Um, why? Because I'm a language learner and the videos are, they're, um, they're informative and you learn a lot. I mean, you're learning language stuff, like especially you having the subtitles, you're learning, you're learning at the same time. You know, I've had many people tell me that, oh, you know, your videos, these videos are long, but I, I feel that I'm, I'm able to speak Somali. I'm able to speak uh, Chinese now, you know, because of watching those videos, because of the repetition, you know. See, that's not a waste of time because if you're a language learner, you're learning something. You're actually learning something, you know. So, yeah, YouTube can be very beneficial. Facebook can be very beneficial for for your language studies if you use them correctly. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, um, that is it. I'm gonna conclude this video with, what is it, eight minutes, uh, nine minutes? So that is the question in the week, number 64. And um, yeah, so I will be making these videos uh, every week. I'm going back to what I normally did or what I used to do. And uh, I, I would try to make them like early in the week, but I'm not gonna do what I did before. before I used to pose the question and then give you guys a week to respond. I'm just, what I'm gonna do is just find just questions that I've been getting throughout the week and just make a video like this, read it, and then make this follow up, this transition video, and uh, share my thoughts. So yeah, that is it for this video. Thanks for viewing. If you guys have any questions, uh, ask me down there in the comment section. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a great one. Take care.